Hi, this is Larry Hatch for Hatch's Beer of the Week. And I guess I'm lying a little bit because it's not one beer this week, it's 90. But there's a reason for that. Our topic today, and it's one we've asked for and people on uh, different boards and social media have been asking this question for weeks and probably will until the season's over. So what is the best Oktoberfest or pumpkin or Marzen beers out there? Well, we've been at this business for a long time, uh, since the 80s, and um, our panel has written uh, reviews of 90 different Oktoberfest, Marzen, Halloween, Fall, Pumpkin, whatever you want to call them, beers. Uh, I generally call them Fall Fest beers because that covers the traditional German Marzens, Marzens and um, the American style spiced pumpkin spice beers. And by the way, these can fall into ales, lagers, and stouts. There's a few uh, spicy pumpkin stouts out there. And obviously I'm not going to drone on about all 90, or even the best uh, dozen or so. Uh, they're all at brewbase.com. Uh, and, um, and if you want to skip this video, this is uh, what our menu looks like. Go right to brew-base.com. Under Lager, there's a link that says Mars Infest Pumpkin. Click that, and that'll take you to our latest review file with all 90 reviews. And I just finished compiling that this morning because we, we updated some reviews uh, just yesterday. And uh, so this is all new stuff, although some of our reviews actually go back into the uh, 80s and 90s. Uh, so it's a historical thing, and it's also very current. Uh, I'm just going to talk about two beers. Um, the absolute best one we've ever had in the pumpkin category uh, is New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger Series <clears throat> product, Atomic Pumpkin. And that is so good it won our Award of Merit in 2019 when it came out. And that is a simply spectacular beer. It's really available because they make it out in Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina. So they have uh, bi-coastal distribution. Um, and at the time, they said, enough of the run-of-the-mill pumpkin beers. I'm not interested in ale. It takes cues from a frozen coffee drink, and neither are you. So Mr. Ranger got to work, and um, although this is an atomic recipe, it's only 6.4% with 10 IBU. So it's not nuclear. <laughs> um, so, but it, it's it's pretty pretty interesting. And um, <clears throat> part of the reason it's special is that it has chili peppers in it, uh, added to the pumpkin juice. And this includes habanero, aji, and del arbol. Del, <clears throat> never get that right. Del arbol chili peppers. And their cinnamon is real from Saigon. Um, so, hey, it's really good stuff, and, um, includes allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, all the good stuff. Um, so it's kind of a, a spiced chili pumpkin beer, and that's a little different, and it's so extremely, extremely well done. Um, we originally bought it in August 2019. Uh, these fall beers are coming out in... Uh, early August, um, even though, you know, they're for the fall market, Oktoberfest. Of course, as you know, the Germans start Oktoberfest in September, despite the name. And um, so, anyway, um, let's see here. Um, <laughs> their website says, spicy, warming mouthful that builds in the back of the throat, lingering the strenuously with a slight... Cloying, 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 <laughs> sweet middle, C L O Y I N G. It's too early in the morning to pronounce things. Cloying, middle, medium body. Uh, the only hops they use is Nugget. Uh, the malt bill includes pale malts, Munich, and caramel 80. Uh, it, it pours a golden amber, nothing dark, pumpkin y, or copper about it. Uh, the head is near white. It lasts a while, but it's low. And the textures are mixed. Our first sip was just wow. Very full of spice, lots of cinnamon, very strong, 
even though the ABV is only 6.4 um, and they got the sweetness just right um, you get more pumpkin kicking in by the middle passage you know because the spice dominates at first and then you get some by the middle and late passages you get some peppers kicking in and then they saturate after that um, and uh, one of our panelists called did a kick with beloved gentleness and and he, you add pumpkin spices with a little bit of these three chilies wow you're gonna get something good <clears throat> especially from a firm like theirs that knows what they're doing uh, we found it well judged refined so sort of spectacularly warming substantial um, the fruits the malts the background yeast the spices the peppers everything was spot on uh, one of our panelists wrote this is a real star a magical hot star from the very first drop on my tongue the expert choice of ingredients are executed like Michael Jordan and Schumacher on their very best days another said absolutely atomic uh, not megaton powerful nor should it be probably the best chili beer ever simply brilliant well-rounded and sure to be a classic and benchmark for years um, it is a classic it is a benchmark for us and, and, and although there's not a lot of chili pumpkin spice beers out there um, it does set a standard and that is a good place to be um, our next beer is um, probably our best newcomer and I literally tried that yesterday for the first time <clears throat> and I had two bottles one to write the initial review and then some hours later with palate cleansing uh, another bottle um, you know we at Brewbase we have to consume the whole container a minimum of 12 ounces uh, that's our rule you know we're not doing these little disposable sippy cups you know like at a beer fest um, you, you don't get the full flavor of a beer from a little sippy kip you don't know was that poured from the dregs of it or or the top of it or did they get enough yeast in there did they get too much yeast in there uh, is it from a keg is it from a bottle like you'd buy you know you don't know what you're getting most of the time um, so we sample full bottles and in this case I sampled two uh, we gave a perfect rating to Samuel Adams Jacko pumpkin ale and um, it differs from their Oktoberfest in that it's a wheat ale base and it's only got two spices cinnamon and nutmeg and it's a lower ABV it's only 4.4 percent with eight IBU um, and their Oktoberfest is 5.3 with 16 um, and their hops are the holler holler tau holler tau uh, type only which is different than the Oktoberfest and our website goes into all these details if you want to separate them out curiously their website said 25 IBU but the bottle clearly said 8 um, and so eh, whatever uh, the pour is lately hazed it's not a half of reason but there was a slight haze to it and it's a medium orange to pale amber copper the head is ivory, very fine textures, uh, rocky in two or three minutes, uh, lasts a good while. Similar to the Oktoberfest head, it's, it's a good pouring head, good color. Um, it differentiated itself immediately from other Halloween beers and pumpkin ales by the lemon flavor. They put lemon zest in it. And those lemony citrus notes complement the spices in a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful way. Uh, gives a crisp, highly drinkable, never weak thing um, approach. And I, I looked this up because I had done some cooking before. And yes, people that make their own pumpkin pies, the gourmets, use lemon zest as a secret. So I looked up what are all the secrets to making good pumpkin pie lemon zest was a common one so this is not a new idea to put lemon zest with pumpkin pie spices it, it's a common thing um, other other um, uh, chefs and experts bakers said ground pepper was important ginger 
that's always good in a pumpkin pie heavy cream and brown sugar but lemon zest was a very common theme and it matches perfectly to those spices again they're just using cinnamon and nutmeg they dropped the cardamom and allspice um, to, I guess give it more of a straightforward flavor and um, one of the, there's a website uh, joecooks.com and they they said the lemon zest brightens up the pie and balances the flavor just a bit of lemon zest makes all the difference and that in this beer is the same thing uh, we very seldom give perfect scores to new beers unless they really knock our socks off what we call a wow beer and sam adams uh, jacko is whoo that just that just bowled us over right away we like it actually better than their oktoberfest which we had in the past given a five point bottle rating to but this year we gave it a 4.5 so the jacko in the uh the pack uh the, the pack they have this year is called Swe Swe sweater sweater weather and it comes in cans and bottles um we use the bottles uh in uh, a couple of purchases two packs and um Wow, it was immediately better than their Oktoberfest, which is in the pack, along with the new Fest beer. And you can read about all of these on our website. Uh, one of our panelists said, The spices are only two, but with the wheat notes and most importantly the lemon zest, this one is luminous, exciting, and downright rewarding in the Fest beer pumpkin category. Kudos all around, and it it's really the hit of their Halloween uh, sweater weather pack uh, it's the best one in there I mean I mean they're, they're Boston lagers in there it's a classic but I would say by far the jacket was the most interesting and um, you should really try to get some um, now you probably have to go to a bottle store to break it out from the other three um, but I have seen it sold separately um, like it um, total wine so that that's a good choice and um, we can go with that uh, again please visit us at brew-base.com and again just go to the menu click on the the marzen link under loggers and you'll be ready to go we've got a lot of detail uh, it'll take you hours to read the whole thing but it'll only take you a few minutes to look at the reading summaries and uh, so if you, whether you want to spend three minutes or three hours there's a lot there a lot of experience uh, of our panels over the years and uh, you'll find some very interesting and rare um, fest beers in there as well as the, all the common stuff so please give us a look and um, thanks again for your time